All right, so this will be the opening of a review on Eureka Gold, uh, Eureka Joe's pay dirt. Uh, this is the Upper River Claim Bag, a two pound bag, $150 plus shipping. Um, See a lot of little fine gold in that already. I just want to see if there's a big nugget anywhere. It didn't look like it while it was dumping it up. I just want it opened up to see if there's a big nugget in there, though. Okay. Yeah, that's what it's coming down to. A big old turbo pan. There's a huge nugget in there, but <laughs> no. So, so that's the start. That's the, the teeter that it's left with, and we'll get the review done later. All right, guys and gals. So we're going to finish up this review. Uh, we just separated the rocks, remember, uh, of Eureka Joe's um, Upper River Claim Bay. Um, sorry it's been a little while uh, for those of you who haven't seen uh, we did just have our fifth child um, and so uh, it's been a little crazy uh, in the household so um, this is what we separated into remember Let me just get set up here sorry a little bit of jet dry we got our sniffer bottle I'm just gonna pour all of that rocks right in. I'll just take this and get it out of the way for right now. <clears throat> um, but just so that you guys can see, that is obviously what we started with uh, before. All right. Doesn't look like anything major. Uh, again, this is uh, from Eureka Joe's. Uh, obviously a lot of people uh, know them, Felix as well. These are those screen down rocks. Oh wow, I don't know if you guys can see that already. Right off the top there. There's a nice little picker. Nugget size. And we'll just put that over there for right now. Oh, he did uh, also send with uh, one dram uh, uh, vial. Uh, this is two pounds. Again, $150 plus $10 shipping and handling. Uh, so your total is $160. This is the Upper River Claim. Uh, he has several different bags available. Uh, he's got one where you have a 1 in 25 chance of getting a, uh, a quarter ounce nugget. Uh, he also has, oh, there's a nice another little picker there. Um, he also has a two pound, uh, $45 bag, uh, just called a Taste of Alaska. Um, and then uh, he has nugget bags. Uh, he also sells his pater by the gallon, uh, five gallon. Uh, I think I've seen some pater uh, on his site <clears throat> go for as high as like $5,000 for, um, or $4,000 maybe for a five gallon pail of it. Uh, but this again is a uh, his probably most uh, popular selling bag. Uh, this is like I said the Upper River Claim, uh, two pounds of Alaska concentrates. Um, 
It was here in four days. Uh, packaged nice, priority uh, mail, uh, trackable the entire way here. Um, I think when you think of pan at home pitters and really uh, where the industry started from, probably uh, I would give credit to um, you know Felix. Oh cow. Uh, Felix, obviously, for one, um, and then uh, Eureka Joe's, I would say, is another uh, company that's uh, been in there. Uh, Dirt Hog is a, a company you've heard me talk about. Uh, they're not uh, as long around or established as these uh, other guys. These guys have been doing this for a little while here. So, wow. So, doesn't even want to stay up there. Again, this is just off the rocks. I'm gonna try to get a few of those out of there. Maybe you can see that gold at the bottom here. You know, we're just trying to get this overburden off a little bit so I can clear this out so you guys can see this a little better. A little piece of gold in there, so I'm gonna stop there and then show you guys. You know, part of the, we we're talking about like surface tensions and oils and it's the hardest thing to do and I need to do less of it too. Um, but, you know, try not to uh, dig in your pan. I'm always digging in my pan and separating stuff around. But uh, what you're doing is you're adding all that oil that's on your fingertips, uh, that grease into the water. And, and there's that one. And then that one that we pulled out already too. So. All in all, oops, sorry, spread those out a little bit. That's just out of the first layer of rocks. Um, you know, two nice big, I mean, decent sized chunks of gold, a few nuggets, some nice flakes. So we will put those bigger chunks just inside the sniffer bottle for right now. Just a shout out to the Gold Prospector Space. Um, if you guys are new to panning, new to the hobby, new to uh, prospecting, it's a great site. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Tim Grimes uh, is the creator of it. Uh, he's got a weekly podcasts. They have uh, tons of giveaways from sponsorships from uh, one of the, the people that you see that I've been adding into my videos recently is John over at usadetectors.com. A very stand-up guy. I don't refer people very lightly, so uh, if I am referring you to somebody, uh, I do think that they're going to treat you very fair and very well. So let's get. Uh, I am going to do a hard break here, and then we'll get into uh, this section of the pay dirt. But again, you guys know from my videos. For some reason, my um, camera only videos for about uh, 20 minutes at a time. So we're just going to do a hard break here, and I'll be right back into it. Okay, so this probably wasn't the smartest thing sifting this into this container, but we'll go with it for right now. Um, the one thing just to talk a little bit about as you guys are getting these concentrates from around, um, you know, the soils from everywhere looks a little different. Uh, the one thing that's uh, usually pretty, uh, pretty much the same uh, when you're looking at uh, the type of dirt or uh, what makes up the material uh, in areas, uh, you know, the, the Alaska pay dirt, it's that real gray, uh, or at least my experience with it, has been that real gray kind of muddy, murky uh, type of dirt. Um, you know, the uh, Arizona stuff is a lot thicker in that red desert sand. Uh, North Carolina and the Georgias, um, they kind of have a lot more of those light blonde sands. Um, and so one thing just uh, depending upon where people are saying uh, their product is coming from um, this was shipped from Alaska but there's a lot of prospectors out there that uh, you'll see that uh, they might have claims in Arizona and live in uh, I don't know Illinois um, you know uh, 
Idaho is another area that has gold. I haven't done a pay dirt from Idaho yet, um, but uh, you know, there's a lot of people in Idaho that have claims in other states as well. So one thing I do like to talk about usually is that material and how it's uh, panned through or, or processed. So this again looks really good. You're starting to see down in here if you can see this, that back tailing there of of gold starting to come through. Again, we're going to stratify that and just keep thinning that out, locking that right down until you start to see the gold moving down. And once you get it into this riffle, um, I like to restratify. I don't like to let my gold go any further than that. Uh, some people will let it go all the way up to the edge. So, again, just going to be what you're more comfortable with, what you'd like to uh, do uh, as a newbie. Uh, or a, wow, that's a nice little chunks of gold right there. You can see that already starting to show up. Move that little rock out of the way. Um, don't remember what I was saying. Oh, as a beginner, uh, always pan into a safety pan. Uh, you guys see me panning into a safety pan all the time. Uh, again, I give these sellers the benefit of the doubt. Um, I pan through two three, uh, four times sometimes, depending upon how hard the material is or how fine of gold I found in it. Um, so all we're gonna do, just cause I wanna keep getting through this stuff. Yeah, see like that was a dried out Arizona pan there. Uh, I'm just going to, well, just so you can see that's the first dump load there. So a real nice amount of gold. Just speckled through here you can see already um, I don't know probably 0.2 grams already so we will again just shake that on down actually well too many pans in the way here we'll probably end it up Gonna put it in that bottom pan when we're all done anyways. Oh, that really wasn't a good idea. Putting that stuff in there. crazy with this pan floating in here. Give me a minute. I'm going to clean this all out. You know, I know somebody was asking me before um, on my review of the turbo pan. Uh, somebody was saying that the uh, the gold was so big that any pan could catch that. Um, just so you guys know, all I did with this pan <laughs> right now is dump this gold and sift it into here. That's what's all in the trap right here, all in these vents, and I haven't dumped this out at all. Um, so, you know, you guys are wondering. Does it really work? Uh, again, I want to see it as a prospecting pan this summer. Um, but if you guys can see this, and now what I really like, and I'm going to get one, is they do make a little uh, 10 inch pan now. I like this because the amount of material you can get through. Um, but look at down in the center of that. You know, there's some. Definitely some neg uh, 10, or excuse me, neg 20, uh, neg 30, neg 50, neg 100 even uh, down in there. So uh, mesh style. So again, we're just gonna try to 
Again, this was a dumb idea. Dumping this stuff into here, but oh well. I think I'm just gonna. Just kind of suck it all up since we know it's gold bearing and I can trim it out in the pan later. Um, Eureka Joe's too is a company that uh, quite a few of you had some experience with and so uh, I was kind of happy to uh, go ahead and get this bag so that we could compare what everybody is doing or everybody's experiences are. Um, a gentleman out of Minnesota by the name of well, I won't give his name, um, but he was nice enough in the last few weeks to post some results from uh, Eureka Joe's Nugget Bag as well. So we'll try to uh, maybe hook all those together somehow. Okay, so that's everything that was in uh, the other pan. And then this is that first dump that we did. Just gonna get all that gold into one area here. All right, we'll go through that a little more later. Let's get back to this dirt. So again, we're shaking it side to side, front to back. We'll stratify and then just wash that top stuff away. Let those vents do the work of catching that heavy stuff. Thank you guys all for uh, commenting, for sharing, for uh, you know promoting our posts. Uh, really guys, you can really help us out by uh, keeping the uh, community uh, at large just by sharing a post here or there, uh, a video here or there. Um, you know, through all the social media, uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, a YouTube channel. Uh, I do have an uh, email as well if you guys are ever looking to get a hold of me. Uh, and you can't do it through one of those means. It is uh, goldpaydirtreviews at gmail.com. We do also have, uh, obviously I'm gonna get a full length video put together on that turbo pan so you guys can see that. Uh, catch a little bit finer gold, but uh, from just uh, sifting into that pan right now, uh, again, every time I pull that pan out, it impresses me. So I just don't have the room to use it in this little uh, mason tub here. So again, we're just gonna keep 
thinning these out a little bit. I'll show you. Yeah, look at that. Some back taps there. And then all I'm going to do is just keep emptying them for right now until we get it all the way worked down. And then we'll work with just that. So I appreciate, again, like I was saying, all the comments, sharing your videos. Um, you know, uh, when I, I comment back, uh, guys, I mean, maybe I'm going to apologize for this, I guess. Um, you know, I'm taking the heat for all of us here. <laughs> uh, you know, some of these sellers are telling me I'm trying to ruin their business. Uh, you know, again, like we talked about, guys, uh, Peter, it's not really an investment. It's the only way to grade it is to to say, okay, you spent this much money, this is what you got for this much money. Um, nowhere have I ever told you guys you're gonna get rich or, uh, you know, find a, a, a pan, $300,000, uh, full pan worth of gold for, uh, you know, $20 uh, buying a, a pay dirt from eBay. Um, but again, uh, some of these sellers are getting just so ridiculously crazy that their products are being questioned. Uh, and actually put out there and it kind of shocks me uh, you know YouTube guys has been around forever and it's us being lazy and letting these sellers get away with it that's why they're all getting mad they've been making money hand over fist uh, sellers and again I'm so sick of dealing with this guy I'm gonna call him out in this video Benjamin from kid puke um, I don't really have anything terrible to say about his dirt I didn't think it was great I thought there were a bunch of other options um, you know that uh, people would be a lot happier with but him as a person I would never wish any of you guys to have to deal with him and uh, you know every week it seems like one of his friends comes on or you know me personally I think it's him under another account still trying to uh, badmouth you know what we're doing here uh, but again if they're selling I mean I could go out to the backyard and tell you oh yeah I'm gonna give you something unsearched um, and it's not gonna be on the gold but it comes right off of my uh, dry washer well that, that's great um, you know if you're running worthless material through your dry washer then you're selling worthless material um, and so you know whether he thinks his time is worth money or are your times worth money or how much money his time's worth uh, is a whole nother story. But um, again, I, I don't really call people out, guys. I, I tell you kind of as it is. I'm, I'm not trying to tell you who to buy from. Uh, I'm not trying to tell you, you know, any opinion. I'm trying to show you what I got from this seller when I bought this time. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. Um, and you know a part of what I grade on as you guys know at the end is customer service it's packaging and shipping how fast it was here uh, how did they take care of me if I had a problem and in that department he fails uh, miserably so again sorry guys just a rant but if you like me and support me uh, for once I'm gonna say something out of the ordinary and I'm gonna say boycott kid puke Looks like we got about another pan's worth of this to go through. This is looking really good though, guys. Again, this is their Upper River claim bag. Um, you know, I have, like I said, uh, had <coughs> uh, somebody I know had a personal experience just not too long ago. Uh, over the holiday, he ordered some of uh, their nugget bag and uh, wasn't too happy with it at all. So uh, I'm kind of pleasantly surprised at this point right there. There's another dish to add in. But yeah, all in all looking like a real nice pan. And then we'll get 
get that one. Nothing in that pan anymore. Put that off to the side. Again, I'm just going to pull this up. Do another quick hard stop here. And then we'll start again. All right. All right. And then the last pan we're going to go right down into. Trying to get this part done before baby starts crying again. And then I'll go through that again just because there are quite a bit of nice fine specks that I'm seeing from that other pan, so. The neg 20s, uh, 30s, neg 50s, neg 100s, um, you know, that's a lot of when uh, pay dirt sellers are really telling you you're you know, uh, save your black sands, save your fines and heavies. Uh, it's because panning really is hard to get out that very, very, very fine material. Uh, that's why I have, you know, my Miller table. That's why other people use sluices or they use uh, bucket sluices, some clean out contraption of, of that kind as well. Um, and so, we go through all of this, take the time to pan it all down. Uh, on tape, uh, you know, um, I appreciate, uh, like I said, everybody telling me what they've learned. And uh, again, uh, I'll try to keep talking. This isn't what I do. I'm just doing this for fun. Um, but so many of you guys have wanted me to keep walking you through what I'm doing or uh, what I'm finding. So uh, until you guys tell me to shut up, I'll keep talking a little bit. But, um, you know, learn from each other. Um, there's plenty of sites out there. Uh, goldprospectorspace.com again uh, other places like that where you can uh, get into an online community or a group of people that are there they're sharing their opinions they're sharing their experiences uh, but most importantly they're they're sharing their wisdom and uh, it's the bond and the brotherhood um, sorry sisters if I say brotherhood uh, but I just mean that camaraderie so all right so this is everything that we have then. And we're just letting the pan do the work. Or the water, excuse me. Let the pan catch things. Put it in at that slight angle, and all you're doing is lifting in and out. And just letting those heavy materials sink down. Wow. We'll start washing this stuff away a little bit so that you guys can see all of that. Um, here somewhere. Uh, guys, I'm just going to take out these nuggets, um, these larger pickers as I'm working this stuff because they don't get sucked up in the sniffer bottle. I'm going to try to separate this black sand out of here for you. Um, show you some ways to do that. So. Again, we're just going to light wash all that off real quick. We'll grab up the easy stuff here that's really cleaned.
Yeah, this looks really nice. Again, we're just working through this a couple times, then and out that black sand. And I think I got my magnet close by. Again, they make earth magnets, they make all kinds of things. Uh, guys, I'm a cheap guy. Uh, all I did is take two uh, jars with earth magnets inside of it, put it on the outside. You're going to rub this through. Catches that black sand. I always like to let it down, rinse it off again, pick it back up, and no gold in there. So we'll just shoot it right down. Not a lot of black sands here, so. There's one thing I'm a little, little shocked of is no garnets, nothing like that at all. Um, you know, not that there has to be, but uh, something that usually you do see. This is all real, real, real fine stuff. So um, what I might do is try to get you guys. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so that I'm going to keep going through. You guys can see there's still gold in there. Um, but just to, I'm going to pause it because there's some really, really, really fine gold in there uh, that I need to get through. So, but in the meantime, so you guys can see where we're at. That nice pan of gold. these nice little pickers so very nice so I'm gonna pause it get through this little bit here uh, like you guys can tell uh, there's not a ton of stuff there but there's some nice flakes in there yet and there's a lot of small fine flower gold so give me a few minutes and we'll be back with that all right well that's what it is right there and I'll get it on the oven, get it dried off, and get you a total weight and review here in a minute. All right, so that is the total. Some nice gold, big chunks there. 2.5 grams. Uh, again, the bag was a hundred and fifty dollars plus ten dollars shipping and handling. 
The website is www.eurekajoes.com. He's got a couple different bags. Like I said, this one is his Upper River Claim. Uh, and then uh, he has the hopes and dreams, the lower river, uh, etc. Then he's got a little story here uh, and also the phone number, product made by Alaska. Uh, comes real nice packaged. Uh, like I said, he did include the uh, dram as well. So uh, real nice gold. Um, fast shipping, uh, especially from Alaska. Uh, there's some remote parts of Alaska that things don't get here very quick from. Uh, I like the a few little chunky nuggets that were in here. Uh, obviously for him, maybe not nuggets, um, but for me, I think they're a nice size little piece of gold. Uh, overall rating, uh, return on investment is going to be right about s uh, just under 70%. So a really good return on investment uh, as far as a non-loaded bag uh, maybe goes, I guess. Um, you know, I've uh, showed you guys some others. There's been maybe three or four that were that high uh, for return on investment uh, other than goldbay.com. Uh, um, but real nice uh, gold. Um, I kind of do, uh, I'm a sucker for it, but I, I kind of want to try it. their hope and dream or hope dreams bag. Uh, that's the one where there's a one in 25 chance of getting a huge nugget uh, in your bag as well. Um, so all in all, I am going to give Eureka Joe's uh, we'll say a 9 out of 10. Um, again, uh, maybe we should try out, uh, or if anybody's had any other experience, I know the nugget bag that uh, the friend of mine had, uh, his return on investment was under uh, 60%. Uh, again, still not terrible uh, in the fact of pay dirts. Uh, I did, I was mouthing off about not uh, seeing a garnet or anything and be, thinking that was weird. Uh, and then in the bottom of those heavies, there were <clears throat> two real, real uh, tiny, tiny, tiny uh, garnets in there. And maybe there's some in the rocks that I wasn't paying attention to. Those uh, nice chunky pieces that came out in the uh, nuggets were uh, nice. So uh, again, uh, referring some people, check out if you guys need metal detectors or prospectors or anything like that. Uh, check out my friend John uh, over at... Uh, www.usadetectors.com. Uh, you're also going to see another ad uh, for him. I'm just going to link it into uh, the video itself. Um, like I said, he's a, a very stand-up guy, um, a supporter of goldprospectorspace.com too. If you haven't checked them out, guys, go ahead and sign up. It's free. They have a weekly radio show, uh, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, they'll ask who referred you there too. You can say uh, Gold Peter reviews uh, for both of those. Um, Again, I don't get commission or anything like that off either of them, uh, but I love the site uh, www.goldprospectorspace.com and then uh, really like uh, John uh, over at USA underscore, or excuse me, usadetectors.com. So again, all in all, uh, 9 out of 10, uh, Eureka Joes, piles of gold in every bag. Uh, this one, there was, so... Until next time, may there always be some color in your pan. Have a good night, guys and gals.